Hey guys, welcome to one big day in my life here in Canada. I have studied, practiced, and visualized this moment countless times. This is like 7 a.m. 8 o'clock. Come with me as I take you along this journey to tackle my drive test knowledge exam. But first of all, how have you all been? It's been such a long time, guys. Getting a government issued ID is something that I have longed to do for such a long time. Get ready to learn from one or two mistakes that I have made today and be ready to laugh out loud. Before we begin, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post another video. I was so eager to get this test done that I hopped into the wrong bus without checking. And so if I tell you what's in me this morning, eh? <laughs> so I said, I mean, oh, go the drive test now. <laughs> now I can't, for, I can't forget to check my map. Oh, I just go jump and that bus where they go my direction. So now, now as I do road, I say, I'll make a check which bus stop I did stop. And this is my Google map, when no reset to my location. Now I'm account loss, so <laughs> as you say, I did the wrong bus stop, so I saw Kena. Make I find my way back, so now my way back I find so. And so far, now my um, live view they help me. Ah, uh, they breathe like this because I they work. I never work in like how many months now? Because I did as they walk. See me over, so I be drive test person. I don't go lost. I'm out and they tell me say. Make I go for evening when he wake up. I say no. I want no road. Make I go. See Anna, I don't lose. But to go back house. Habi, go back the next bus stop. How na day, Jerry? Ah, not be smart. I just want to go early so that I go finish the thing early. Then come back house, come do other things. Today na Saturday. Oh, I don't know why they breathe like this. Now because I they work and they breathe. You know, I said I go start exercise now. Nah. After this day, now nah, I go start exercise. Oh yeah, make I go back to my mouth. When I find my boss reached here, I go tell you. Yeah? This was like the beginning of winter and to think that I would have to trek that distance to get another bus. Mind you, before you say, why are people in Canada always trekking? Nay, it's because before another bus will come, it will take like 30 minutes or thereabouts. So to write this wrong, I had to go back to the bus stop where it all started. Lesson number one, always reconfirm your bus stops before hopping onto the bus and also the bus number. The good part about this trek was that I was able to witness the sunrise. I mean, it was such a beautiful sight. Meanwhile, enjoy the views as we go along. Did you know, as a new immigrant in Canada, you can actually exchange your driver's license from Nigeria or wherever you're coming from for the license here but firstly you will need to get an extract from nigeria if you'd like me to talk about this do let me know um, uh, so i don't call rich now you know go believe say eh hmm. i come up for house eight o'clock no no like past it i spent like almost 20 minutes of my time in the wrong bus and i had to walk back that time now, if I don't reach me, then we will go reach. Nari over Sabi drive test person where I be. I no check my map. I no check the bus stops. Even if I no check the bus stops, if imagine say I know Sabi the road. Like I know they're familiar with the bus stops initially. To no say na the wrong bus stop. <laughs> now go enter bus. Now so for the waka 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 con loss. It's embarrassing, but you see this place. I don't miss road plenty, plenty times. Now, why I know they like to come out. And sometimes my mind go tell me, say, oh yeah, come out now, come out so that you go no road. I go still go lost. No, see, as this one will be sure. So I wait for my bus now. And when my bus come, I go enter. I don't read, read, read this drive test now. Drive test, why I don't prepare? Since why I come inside this place? I don't they prepare, prepare. People around me now ginger me because I don't feel ginger myself. You know when they say if you're not ginger, you ginger yourself. Oh I don't feel ginger myself for these kind of things because I don't like exams, but I've been studying and studying and studying. In fact, the last practice test that I had, I scored 39. Now I start off from bed. I say no, I cannot wait till evening. I have to go. I have to go. I don't feel wait till evening, you understand? I have to go. So I did bust up now. They wait for my bus. And when my bus come, I go enter. When I reach there, I go let you know. Pray, say, make I pass. I know, say, I go pass. I don't rehearse this thing for more than four months now. So, 
Uh, okay. The people say my pigeon is strong, strong. Gabi, you didn't hear him. Now, Patakot's guy, I be. Patakot are quite won't get. Oh, my meal. So, to go for this knowledge drive test, you need passports and your ATM card, like anything where we want to use pay money. So, I don't carry all those things. I still carry pen in case if I need to write my name somewhere. So, like they say, you have to do like the eye test first. After the eye test, you now do like the normal knowledge test obj and then you answer the questions you have to score 32 over 40. if you score below that you don't feel you go pay money right time again i think the cost for the knowledge test is about 150 dollars so if you feel and you want to rewrite you pay 15 dollars extra i think but when i go to the center i'll let you guys know how it is the right purse was finally here and it was time to move <laughs> so i don't reach to i don't reach the drive test place and uh, they go there now yep 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 so i'll go show now now This was what my center looked like on the inside when I got in. The three machines here where this man is standing is for printing out your ticket. With the help of someone here, I was able to print out a ticket for myself and I got number 42. I did not have to wait for so long for my number to be called. I'll give you a rundown of everything when I'm out. So the first thing you do when you go inside is you see um, a machine that says um, print your ticket here. So it has um, scheduled check-in for drive test and um, other services, just thought other services. It will ask you if you're here for your knowledge test and then you say yes. And then when you click yes, um, it will automatically, automatically prints um, a ticket with a number for you. And then you just wait to be called. When you're called, you'll be asked to provide your um, proof of identification. I provided my passport. And then when you provide your passports, the next thing will be to sign. Your signature must not touch the line, like the red line. I had to sign twice. And then you'll be asked to fill a particular form, like just tick in. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have any health condition that could affect your driving? Do you have problems with your eye and all of that? You do eye tests, they'll check your height. And then you take, um, they'll take a passport, like a photo of your face. You don't have to smile, you understand. And then after that, you'll be asked to make payments. Are you making payments in cash or with your card? And then if you're making with card, they'll just tell you, okay, you can now tap your card. You tap your card, they'll print your receipt, give you a yellow form of some sort, and then assign you to a particular system for your test. And then they'll tell you to turn off your phone. So when you go into your assigned system, the exams is into session. They'll give you an instruction. They'll show you how to use it by giving you a sample question and all of that. 
in fact as you're answering if you feel a particular question they'll show you the right answer there and then and they'll always ask you oh um is this your final answer if you click no you'll be given a chance to choose another answer but if you click yes if it's wrong it will show you the right answer and then you have to click continue the required score is 32 to 16 16 for each section of the questions and then when you pass the it will be written there on the screen you see a notification on the screen that you pass so you should just wait for your name but if you didn't pass it you can just pay some extra money to rewrite again there's no harm in failing and well in as much as you want to pass at one time just prepare ahead of time after writing the test and then you're waiting to be called the next thing they will do is call your name ask you for your date of birth and your full name ask you for your passport and after that you'll be asked to sign when you sign a particular document they tell you you'll be expecting your license in six weeks and that will be it blah 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 so right now i'm going to shop for zurio my hands are even paining me like i've not exercised for a long time get some things for zurio she's been sick and all if of you have that, watched yeah. this video up to this point please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we post another video and please stay to the end because i am going to be spilling the beans on how to pass your ontario knowledge drive test at once <laughs> So, uh, what I'll just say is, you see this test, <laughs> it is what I ordered versus what I got. So, what I practiced versus what I I got, like what I answered, do you understand? So, it's like, they rephrase the questions. So, when you're studying for like the map, um, for like the road signs, you have to really look at it, at, like reading between the lines and try to understand whatever you're studying because they rephrase the question. So, if you're not careful, you will fail, but we Oh, this thing is if you're in ontario or planning to come to ontario this app is all you need to smash that g1 exam so it has like the g1 exam the practice question please bear in mind from my last comments that you may not get exact wordings of the questions in the exam although this app has a way of discouraging you can imagine that i failed three here and it still told me i failed i failed once and it still told me i failed so you just keep practicing every time anytime you can usually i practice at night when my baby is asleep all you do is read the questions pick your answer and if you fail it there will always be an explanation under the question this is an example of what i mean by the explanation it explains to you what the right thing is and why you should have picked this that app answer. is a great resource and you can study it over and over again until you're confident enough to take the exams now this is the second thing you need the second thing you need is to buy the ontario g1 drivers to handbook of course i did not buy the handbook i had to go to the website to read the science and learn everything about the road rules which is the hardest part of this test Trust i'm not me. saying this to scare you in any way if i 
can do it you can do it so this handbook just has like everything from the road signs the rules your rights as a person who is driving and all of that every information while that i enjoyed need. using the app i also love the fact that i was able to access this online resource because it was more handy as i could visualize the signs like that's how it works for me when i read i try to visualize and i am able to remember the handbook them. cost about 14 dollars 95 cents plus tax it is available in retail stores the drive test center but you have to come with cash and in service ontario as everything well everything i paid for my g1 test was about 159 dollars 75 if i had failed and wanted to write it again i will have to pay 16 dollars extra everything included in the 159 dollars i paid is my g1 knowledge test a g2 road test and a five-year license so if it happens that i fail my g2 at first attempt i will have to pay extra to take please it note that these are the prices as i when i was making this video and the prices are subject to change without notice it did not take up to three weeks for me to get my official government issued id which is the g1 license it felt good saying bye bye to the nigerian passport at every time i want to prove my identity to proceed with my g2 test i have been asked to wait for eight months the reason why i have been asked to wait is what i will discuss in another video where i'll be discussing how you can change your nigerian driver's license to the license here in ontario i hope i was able to cover everything you need for the g1 test thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe bye